Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plugin India. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this episode of Electric Car Watch, we will talk about the Japanese car giant Honda and their plans for EVs or the lack of them. Honda in April this year announced that by 2030, 40% of the Japanese car makers' vehicles in major markets will be powered solely by electric battery cells or fuel cells. By 2035, Honda expects to double this percentage to 80% and by 2040, all its cars globally will be either EVs or FCVs. Honda will spend a total of $46.3 billion on R&D in the coming six years. So this is Honda's master plan. In 2024, Honda will launch a production electric car, mostly in the North American and Japanese markets. They plan to leverage their partnership with GM and use its Ultium drive platform. After four to five years of using the platform, Honda will get serious in 2026 and launch a series of new models which will use their e-architecture, a completely new platform created by Honda. Wow. So after all that hullabaloo, Honda will launch a grand total of one electric car in 2024. Now ask yourself this question. By 2024, how many cars will Tesla have sold worldwide? How many cars will BYD have sold? Those numbers will be in the millions. Meanwhile, Honda has announced a capacity for 70,000 electric cars in 2024. It would be funny if it wasn't so pathetic. BYD sells around 70,000 electric vehicles in China in one month and by 2024, Tesla and BYD will absolutely disrupt Honda's market. Honda does not even have their own electric car platform. The 2024 production car will use GM's Ultium platform which is similar to Volkswagen's modular electric drive matrix also known as the MEB platform which we spoke about in episode 2 of Electric Car Watch. The link is in the description. Guys, whenever Japanese car companies like Toyota and Honda showcase projections that are 19 or 20 years away, we just have to laugh. They seem to have a sunk cost bias when it comes to their investment in hydrogen vehicles that no one is buying. I believe the free marketplace will give Honda a harsh wake-up call later this decade. They've misjudged the speed of EV technology innovation and the speed of cost reductions. We can clearly see Honda getting forced by the market to accelerate those projections. We watched the presentation by Toshihiro Mibe, CEO of Honda Motoko, on Honda's plan for EVs. In the entire presentation, he seemed defeatist whenever he spoke about EVs. All the time he was like, and I quote, it's a huge challenge, we have 20 years and we need to do our best, end quote. I'm sorry, but what is he talking about? For Mr. Mibe, even a 2040 all EV target seems challenging. On top of that, when a journalist asked him about battery production, he was not sure and is still not sure about cell manufacturing. On top of that, Mr. Mibe threw out typical choice anti-EV news bites, how batteries are expensive, how they catch fire and so on. While this may have been tr true 5 to 8 years ago, Mr. Mibe absolutely does not want to see the reality of how battery tech has improved over the last 5 years, how it will dramatically improve by 2030. On top of that, Honda is thinking of creating an EV platform only after 2025, while companies like Volkswagen, BYD and other car companies already have high voltage EV platforms today. Mr. Mibe is another typical Japanese CEO. He's in denial when it comes to EVs and these kinds of people will ensure that Honda's time will be over by 2030. In the two-wheeler space where, where many people in Asian countries use a large number of their products, Honda has set up a consortium with Piaggio, KTM AG and Yamaha Motor Co. to encourage the use of swappable batteries for electric motorcycles and light electric vehicles. Honda said they will engage with various decision makers to help create an international set of technical standards for swappable battery systems and light electric vehicles. I like Honda's idea of creating battery swapping specifications, but the progress and plan are very slow. Apparently, Honda will launch three to four two-wheeler models in Asian markets by 2025. By then, it will be too late. Honda absolutely has no clue how this two-wheeler market space will be captured by Indian startups in India and Chinese startups in Asia.
Going back to cars, in 2020, Honda sold 4.6 million vehicles and Mr. Mibe says by 2030, only around 500,000 of those vehicles will be electric. In other words, Honda intends to sell 4.1 million ICE vehicles in 2030. And as described in my Toyota video, by the 2030s, ICE vehicles won't be accepted in Europe or China. ICE vehicles will cost more to manufacture and sell. Demand for ICE vehicles will plummet. Still, Mr. Mibe wants to shove millions of ICE cars down people's throats. Why? Honda, like Toyota, will also enjoy a Kodak moment. If you are Tesla or Neo or Volkswagen or Xpeng or BYD or Tata Motors, this is the right opportunity to eat into Honda's market share. Please, Honda, continue down this path and hand us your market share. We will gladly take it. Here is a comment in the New York Times on the slow EV strategy by companies like Honda. Essentially, what Joe is saying is that the writing is on the wall when it comes to EVs. The days of gasoline-powered cars are numbered just like the days of horse carriages were numbered once we had cars everywhere on the streets. So, the only relic of the horse riding days now is horsepower. Just because you have a big investment in hybrid or hydrogen, that does not mean you ignore market trends and offer pathetic excuses not to launch battery EVs. We had so much hope from companies like Honda. The Honda E, a short-range electric vehicle, is such a beautiful car. When I first saw it, I thought it looked like our classic Maruti 800 for the new century. If they, had, if they had updated the car and actually had the will to sell the Honda E, they would do very well. Ultimately, the Honda E is only a compliance car or a public relations electric car launch. Honda is only selling limited numbers in Europe, but this does show that Honda can make great electric cars. Unfortunately, their senior management is totally in the pockets of big oil. Their reluctance to make the leap to all electric vehicles could lead them to suffer the same fate as Japan's consumer electronic firms, which have largely faded into irrelevance from their days of greatness because of their failure to stay ahead of market trends. But what about Honda electric cars in India? What a joke. Honda India will continue to dump pollution cars in India even after 2030. I see no electric car from Honda coming to India in the next 10 years because they'll be busy fighting to stay alive at that point. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do write in the comments below about your observations and research on Honda's EV plans. We will see you next week when I talk about the electric car that is beating Tesla in sales.